120. So n equal 360 divided by 120. So the number of sides, three sides. And that means when we have three sides, we have a triangle. Now we'll go on ahead and we are reaching now 14, 15, 16. You have to do them for me. We will continue. Now I will go to number 18. Yes, because we did number 17. And for me, you have to do for me 14, 15, 16. Now we will go to number 18. I will do, yes, I will do number 19 for you. As you see, number 19 is, what is that polygon? Let me count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, bravo. Excellent, guys. Here we have, because we have seven, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a heptagon. And we have two more facts about this. The upper thin length is 3.12 centimeters, and each side length is 3 centimeters. And he is asking, yes, here are the, yes, excellent. Here are the fact, apothem size is 3.12 centimeters, and the side length is 3 centimeters. You know, we know them from the, from the graph. Yes, 3.12 and 3. So, now, now, yes. Now, what do you think we have to do? Uh -huh. We have to find the area. So, area is 1 over 2 NSA. Let me identify what is N, what is S, what is A. N is the number of sides. S is the side length, and A is the upper thumb length. According to the heptagon, yes, excellent, because we have heptagon, so we have seven sides, and as we know, the side length is three, and the upper thumb length is 3.12. Again, we will go back where we start. Excellent, guys. So, we will continue. So, we have A equal, yeah, A is area, seven times three times 3.12 over two, if you multiply these above the numerator, it will be 65.52 divided by 2. So you will have 32.76 centimeter square. Centimeter square because we have the area. Now, do for me, please, guys, question number 19. Also, do for me 20 and 21. Now we will go to questions from 22 to 27. We will choose number 24 is so important, that question. He have a regular pentagon, yes, and radius of its circle is four meters. Maybe this question is this, the first time you have something about a circle, but don't be panic. I will show you how is the way. So this question is so important, number 24 on page 119 as you know all these questions are on page 191 and this question is so so important we have an information that we have a regular pentagon no problem that means n is five but the problem is s is unknown he's only give us a radius of its circle radius it means r so how we can use this fact to find what to find s as you see s is unknown Guys, you know, a pentagon, we can draw it in this way. Just count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. But look what I'm doing. I, you know, the pentagon, it consists of three triangles. As you see, this is one, and this is two, and this is three. Excellent, guys. As you see, again, a pentagon consists of three triangles. One, and two, and three. You will pick one of these triangles and I pick as you wish. I pick the one in the model. So I will take it and I will go and do it alone. Yes, excellent guys. This is one of the three triangles. As you see, we have M, M it means meters. We have 3.24 and we have four and X is unknown. Here, as you know, we have what? We have a right, yes, we have a right triangle. And 3.24 and 4, actually, we took them from where? We took them from the question. Yeah. Yes, you are right. Yes, because it says the radius of its circle is 4. Yes, it's 4 meters. And uh, yes, and the upper thumb A is 3.24. 
So 